joining us today for a new episode of Explore France Live. Thank you. So um, just for the ones who are joining us for the first time, thank you for tuning in. And um, yes, we're taking you on this episode of Explore France Live uh, to the most renowned places in France, meeting with experts, um, in, in their fields, uh, whether we're talking about, you know, friends, heritage, gastronomy, um, anything uh, covering all things friends. So um, today, um, let us, uh, let me first see who is joining us. Uh, please say hello and let, let, let's discuss a little bit. Uh, who is here with us today? Bonjour, Laurie. How are you, Atlanta? Uh, bonjour, Cindy Bloomfield Hills. Oh, fantastic, Cindy. So Cindy has been to Bordeaux two weeks ago. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, so Cindy, Cindy you, you're going to have to share a little bit more about your trip now. <laughs> we we want to hear everything. Bonjour, Linda. Uh, bonjour, Tim. Oh, Chicago. How are you? And anyone else who's been to uh, to Bordeaux in the, in the past weeks or or uh, before? Let's let's hear from you and tell us what what you've um, experienced there. Uh, Bordeaux is definitely one of uh, the most iconic places in France. So much history there and. Um, Remember, Bordeaux is only two hours away by train from Paris. So, uh, do you know when when thinking of going to France, uh, never think that you know Bordeaux is you know uh, uh, really you know 
far. It's really two hours, and you can actually uh, France Bordeaux is also one of the um, one of the places that is uh, directly reachable through Air, Air France actually. So who else is here? Oh wow, well, we have friends Samara, Samara from also Angleterre. Bonjour Jana, South California. Where, where are you in Los Los Angeles or San Diego? I love California. Uh, hello, Pat. Thank you. Bonjour. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Florida. Bonjour, Suzanne. Thanks so much for being with us today. Oh, Madrid to Bordeaux, my favorite place in the world. Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you for sharing. Um, I think we have a friend who who, uh, who were sharing also about their last 2004 oh wow i'm i'm glad you visited so now i'm so excited actually that you shared about this because this we are visiting today a, a, a new city a uh, you know, from the one you've you've visited in the past, and um, what I want to share about this this tour today, we we work with one of the most wonderful team. Um, we they have been working on on this live really hard to present you a beautiful tour. That's you know it, it's it's making me go. I'm going next to Bordeaux. So our guide today, Chloe and and the team at Bordeaux Tourism. Um, are going to immerse us in the UNESCO uh, perimeter. Uh, as you know, Bordeaux has it's been class classified as a UNESCO a World Heritage, and uh, we are going to see all the places that are listed now and the monuments uh, that that we need to to visit when when going to Bordeaux. So, um, of course, we're we're going to to be in the old town, the, this beautiful. Um, you know, me middle um, middle age town, and also we're going to trendy places in Bordeaux. So um, we're going to the Bassin Flow um, or the, a Darwin ecosystem, and uh, we're going to take some rides. This is going to be really really fun, and uh, one of the really fun places that you have to wait and see is this newly open um, uh, light, lighthouse show. Um, it's called Bassin des Lumières, and it only uh, opened two, two years ago. So we haven't had the chance to go uh, because of what happened in the past two years, but this is going to be a wonderful preview for your next trip to Bordeaux. So without further ado, let's, uh, let us welcome our host today. Bonjour, Chloé. Bonjour. Hello. Bonjour. Good morning. So how are Hello. you? Thank you, Tiana. Thank you, <laughs> my favorite you. Bordeaux guide. Uh, if you <laughs> if you ever thinking of going to Bordeaux, reach out to Chloe. We'll put her information there and also the the information of the the Bordeaux tourism. Their website is amazing. You, your tours are going to be set from uh, bottom to hand. But um, enough of me. The floor is yours, Chloe. Thank you so much for having us. Well, thank you. It's really my pleasure and the pleasure of the Tourism Board Office of Bordeaux to welcome you today in Bordeaux. And as you can see, I had my umbrella. But since I am talking to you, no more rain. You are bringing sun to our life. So indeed, we're going to spend like one hour together. We're going to show you absolutely incredible videos because maybe you don't know, but Bordeaux is quite a big town. You can do a lot of things by walking, but also by biking. Huh? You can see all the bikes behind me. But we wanted also to uh, show you different places. So it's why we're going to show you three different videos. And we are going also to move around. So every time you will discover new places. Obviously, feel free to comment, to say if you have been to Bordeaux. I heard that uh, Cindy went to Bordeaux two weeks ago, so it's wonderful. I mean, in France, I hope you have been to Bordeaux and you spent a marvelous time. Uh, so please, yes, comment below if you already have been to Bordeaux or if you want to join us on a future trip. So right now, indeed, I am in the Middle Ages area of Bordeaux and you have the marvelous gate behind me, what we call la grosse cloche. Uh, cloche means bell in English. 
And I am sure that uh, Clément, our videographer, is going to show you this wonderful monument, which is from the 15th century. You have to imagine that during Middle Ages, people had to come under, in fact, the gates. It was um, like everything that was linked to the food was going under this gate. And you have also the church, Église Saint-Éloi, just next door. And it's almost incredible because they're still doing mass, obviously, and sometimes the mass is done in Latin, so very old style. So if you want, you can come a little bit closer. Come on, Clément, show, uh, show to people like our beautiful city. You have, look at this, this is like stunning, really. Look at the architecture, everything is in stone, in limestone, and the bell. Can you believe that the bell is like almost six tons? Can you imagine how, in fact, it should have been difficult to put this bell on the top of uh, this incredible monument? So Bordeaux was surrounded by, in fact, a fort huh, back at the time. So today it's not the case anymore, but it's very, very nice because we still have some gates. And this one, you can walk under it like this. And if you want to join in Bordeaux and to do the Santiago path, you know, Santiago del Compostela path that is rich in Spain, well, you have to go under, in fact, these gates. Huh? Uh, and here you are in a totally different neighborhood. This is so cute. Oh, look, and so delicious. We have some cannoli over there. Mmm, that's very good. Huh? Oh, look, this is the Bordeaux specialty. But you are going to see it a little bit more in the next videos that we prepare for you. And here in this street, you have a lot of bars and restaurants. This is so cozy and very cute also little shop. So this is like a first stop that we want to show you. But now in the video, I'm going to bring you like in a really very different flair of Bordeaux. You're going to see a lot of different areas and it's a walking tour and you will see in the introduction, we have a little surprise for you. So without further ado, please Tiana, let's roll the first video. Welcome on Place de la Bourse. This is an emblematic area of Bordeaux. As you can see, we have a magnificent 18th century architecture. Gabriel, the architect, also made Place Vendôme in Paris. On the other side, you have the beautiful harbor of Bordeaux. As you can see, the shape is like a crescent. It's why we call it the Moon Harbor. We have our beautiful tramway, entirely electric, so convenient, in fact, to move around the city. And behind, you have the beautiful Miroir d'eau. Built in 2006, it's an incredible space with water on the top so people can enjoy it during summertime. This is why Bordeaux has been classified by UNESCO in 2007. Ladies and gentlemen, this is only an introduction. Now, let's go in this beautiful French car called the DS to do a city tour. Come with me. Palais. Palais means castle in French. This is because Aliénor d'Aquitaine was living in Palais de l'Ombrière. Aliénor d'Aquitaine was queen of France and then queen of England. But as you can see, there is no more castle here. But as heritage, we still have this beautiful Port Caillou that you can visit. It's from the 15th century. What is also very nice with Place du Palais is the many wine shops and wine bars and full of terraces during summertime to have a very nice glass of wine. Bordeaux is also very famous for street art. When you are visiting some areas of Bordeaux like Chartron or Darwin, you can discover beautiful art like this one. Marché des Capucins is a market to go in Bordeaux. This is really the belly of the town. And as you can see, it's crowded, but let's discover it together. Here, you can find everything to create your French dinner. 
if you are gourmand, you can find vegetables, fruits, French baguettes, pastries, fishes, oysters, but also wine and some flowers. I hope you enjoyed this tour in an old French classic car. Now it's time to do a walking tour. And we start here with the Monument of Girondin, a very famous fountain, and the Esplanade, which uh, is very wide and on which we have a lot of events. As you know, Bordeaux is all about wine. So we thought about you and we wanted to show you the famous wine bar, which is also a school where you can have classes and learn how to taste our Bordeaux wines. Hi, Guillaume. Hi, Chloe. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. So please, could you introduce yourself and tell me more about this delicious place? So I'm the uh, manager of the wine bar, the wine bar of the Bordeaux Council. Uh, so uh, just from front of the tourism office, you've got uh, a place uh, where it's possible to taste the selection of Bordeaux wine by the glass uh, with promotion uh, prices. And you can uh, mix this wine with some plates of cheese or some charcuteries, or local charcuteries. Very nice. So only wine by the glasses. Only wine by the glasses, only Bordeaux wines, and a lot of selection around 25 to 35 different wines daily. Wow. And so here we have these delicious platters, and we have also some wine that are already poured in our glass. Mm -hmm. But I know these glasses that we are going to start with uh, the Crémant de Bordeaux, which mm -hmm. is our champagne. It's a rosé also. So perfect for, for this time, period and this time. Mm -hmm and perfect to start with. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. Guillaume, santé. Oh oui. Santé, cheers. Let's taste this delicious uh, crémant. Well, Guillaume, thank you for having me. You're welcome. I was really pleased uh, to taste these delicious Bordeaux wines. And uh, well, I'm coming here quite often uh, around <laughs> noon for a delicious glass of wine. So please do the same. Behind me, you have Le Grand Théâtre. This is our opera house and it was inaugurated in 1780. The architect is very famous, it's Victor Louis. This area is a real meeting point for Bordelais and also for tourists because you can go to everywhere around Bordeaux just by walking. If you wish to do some shopping, this is our Champs-Élysées with luxury uh, shops, but you can also discover very cute passages like this one. Please follow me. Rue Saint Catherine is the longest pedestrian street of Europe and you're lucky because it's also full of shopping centers. Behind me you have the very famous brand Galerie Lafayette where you can find all the most luxurious French brands. going to discover the sweet side of Bordeaux and I am in a chocolate shop with Asna. Hi Asna, how are you? Fine, hi Chloe. I'm happy to be here with you. Yes, me too. Oh my gosh, there is some delicious things on the table. But first, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I am Hasna Ferreira. I am from Bordeaux. I am a chocolate maker. I have... It's wonderful to be here. Asna? I think that I can recognize what we have seen in your chocolate factory. Can you tell us what it is? 
Yes, exactly. It's a, a new recipe. We call that nene. Uh, we have uh, uh, three uh, recipes with coconuts, nuts, and the cocoa nibs. Uh, inside, we can find a little praline with marshmallow with vanilla. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry right now. And we have also other delicious sweets made in Bordeaux because your in fact shop here is surrounded in fact by sweet tooth uh, in fact specialties. So can you please introduce us this specialty on the platter? Uh, really, we are very lucky because uh, it's uh, very famous here in Bordeaux and in France. Uh, Candy, for example, it's made with uh, eggs, uh, flour, and uh, vanilla and rum. Mm. And also this little cloud, because yes, we can it. call that like that. <laughs> it's, uh, we, it's a dune. Mm -hmm. dune. Uh, it's a little cloud with cream inside. It's very tasty. Yes, and in fact, dune, because uh, on our Bassin d'Arcachon, on our ocean side, we have the famous dune du Pila. So this is like an homage, in <laughs> fact. And next to it, we also have two other specialties. This is le bouchon bordelais. It's made with almond and fin de Bordeaux. So it's like a spirit made, in fact, with the lees, in fact, of our wine. And this is the sarment du Médoc, produced in the Médoc area. These are chocolate also. And Asna. We have also very delicious wine here. We have a red wine, we have a dry white wine, and we have a sweet wine from Bordeaux. And I know that chocolate is perfect match with wine. What can we, what can you advise in fact? Uh, for me, I think uh, Chateau Léoville Poiféré can be uh, with the Les Nene, mm -hmm. uh, very tasty with chocolate, dark chocolate or big chocolate, of course. And, uh, uh, dry wine, uh, dry white wine with the uh, uh, candle mm -hmm. and the, 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 the last one with Le Dune. Mm, I think we can, uh, we can try that, huh? I think. Yeah, we have our glasses. Yes. So now what we can say is uh, see you in a few okay. minutes. And Santé, cheers. Wow. <laughs> This was amazing. I feel <laughs> I feel so hungry right now. <laughs> so, yes, but I, this is this is I like the season a... right now. Oh wow! See, I, it's like it's pouring rain right now. <laughs> Welcome in Bordeaux. Yes, but Bordeaux is so nice to discover any time, any weather. And you know, another specialty of Bordeaux it's snail, also cagouille. <laughs> so here we are, like snails outside under the rain on Place Saint-Pierre, and you have the beautiful church behind me. Can you believe that here, it was a harbor here? Here, wow. you had water, you had boats during like Roman time, and then it has been like covered, obviously, with uh, earth, and now we have this beautiful church that is from the 12th century, has been restructurated during the 14th century and after also during the 18th century. So this is really the birthplace, the Roman birthplace of Bordeaux. And uh, we can show you a little bit around. Oh, sorry, it's very, very uh, humid here and very uh, rainy. Even we have a little bit of uh, hail. Ooh. Oh gosh, this is like a terrible... Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, you so journey. much for yes. yeah. Thank you so much for bringing the evidence for us. This is this is what we really call a true live. You, you're braving hail and wow. This yes, uh, but this is uh, like uh, really something uh, that happened in Bordeaux, but usually it doesn't last very long. And so we have uh, the beautiful uh, uh, church that we have here. And it's a very trendy area because, uh, as you can see, we are at a restaurant here. Uh, we are on a terrace, so you have to imagine that uh, normally uh, we have, uh, well, lots of people that are enjoying a glass of wine with like a, a platter of cheese or anything. It's like a very, very like a uh, trendy uh, area for young people to enjoy. Uh, and so. Well, you have seen this first video and I was like walking around and I think now that with this weather, I want to show you Bordeaux on another side 
which is like a bike tour. So please, Tiana, let's roll together under the sun this time. Thank you. Thank you again. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Bordeaux. Uh, my name is Janneke. I'm very happy to take you on a tour in the city. We're going to start with a bicycle tour and I'm willing to show you a different part of the city, the more modern part, the contemporary part of the eco-friendly city of Bordeaux. So it will be a ride along the riverfront towards the northern part of the city, um, the Bassin à Flot, uh, with, which is really the, um, the image of the renewal and the embellishment of uh, Bordeaux city. Here we are on the riverfront. This part of the city really changed in the last uh, 15 years and has become a very popular place for the Bordelais to come, relax, go for a tour on the bicycle, to skate. It's um, a very attractive place here along the Port de la Lune, the Port of the Moon. At the moment, well, there's always something going on here, actually. At the moment, we have this exhibition of the cat statues of uh, Philippe Geluc, the artist, and the exhibition is going on till October. But also, this is the place where the city organizes its big uh, Fête du Fleuve and Fête du Vin. So next year, June, we will have our wine festival, the Fête du Vin. Let me take you to, into one of my favorite districts of Bordeaux, located in the north of uh, this city, the Chartons district. Okay, here we are in the main street of the Chartons district, Rue Notre Dame. And I'm right in front of the Protestant temple, which is a remain of the time that a lot of wine traders uh, settled here, mainly coming from Northern European countries. I make a short stop at this uh, famous bakery in the Chartrons district and as you can see we have to be patient because they are very successful. Madame, est-ce que je pourrais avoir deux cannelés et deux chocolatines s'il vous plaît? So here we are in the middle of uh, Chartron, which is uh, the district which really feels like a, a village, a village atmosphere. Although we are very close to the city centre, it's completely different with its old um, former wine district facades. And nowadays the district of the um, antique shops, art galleries, cafes, a lot of cafes and um, nice bars around here in this very lively district. It's first day today and on the riverfront every first day we have this lovely market with local products, biological market on first day and on Sunday, every Sunday morning we have a huge market here on the riverfront of Chartons district. We've passed the riverfront, the Garonne riverfront, with its beautiful terraces, a long cycle path, the skate park, and we're very close now to the northern district, the Bassin à Flot, with right here one of the new landmarks of Bordeaux, the 
Pont Chabon del Mas Bridge, which is a vertical lifting bridge which allows the vessels and the boats to pass because the central part is going to lift up to 55 meters. Here we are at a very atypical site in the Bassin à Flot district, Les Vivres de l'Art. We're surrounded by three historic buildings, 18th century buildings, used to be the uh, marine food supply building and two slaughterhouses. And it has been converted by an artist, Jean-Francois Buisson, into an artistic place where a lot of things are going on all around the year, concerts, exhibitions are organized and it's also a place with workshops for uh, different artists. In front of the Marché de Bacalan, in the middle of the Bassin à Flot district, a former industrial port district of Bordeaux, which is nowadays the upcoming district with the covered market, food court, and lots of new hotels under construction, and its main symbol, landmark, this very impressive building we have here, the Cité du Vin, a wine museum, which just celebrated its five years anniversary. At the other side of the district, there is a quite strange building, very impressive construction. It's a remain of World War II, the submarine base, which is nowadays hosting Le Bassin des Lumières. Bassin des Lumières is the largest digital center in the world. And at the moment, a very beautiful exhibition is going on there about the French Impressionists. Darwin co-working space in a former um, building area of the, the army it were military barracks and nowadays um, a very uh, popular place for the locals to come either to come to the organic food shop there's a very very nice big restaurant here which is the biggest organic food restaurant in Europe indoor skate park and uh, also a meeting place for artists, street artists mainly, graffiti and street artists. So we have crossed the Garonne River and we are on the other side now, on the right bank. We've taken the bridge, Pont Chaban Delmas, and we've taken the cycle path, which is taking the whole riverfront uh, from one bridge to another. You can follow the cycle path or a lot of people running as well. We're in the green part, we can say. At the other side of the river, with this beautiful view, we have the UNESCO facade, the 18th century classical architecture of Bordeaux. This side is really the green uh, country um, aspect of the city, we could say. And all along the riverfront, on the right bank, you will find small restaurants and genget, as we call them, where you can eat and have a drink near the water and even places to dance. Um, outside dancing, it's really the country aspect of the city. Now we're going to get closer to the old bridge of the city. We've taken the new bridge now right behind me, the Pont de Pierre, the oldest link between the left bank and the right bank. From here, we're now going to cross back to the left bank and we're going to embark on the ship to show you Bordeaux from the water. We're going 
along for one and a half hour of cruise on the Garonne River. Let's go. So here we are sailing on the Garonne River and the city of Bordeaux of course has a very close linked history with the Garonne River with um, all its port activities and the history of the port of Bordeaux, the Port de la Lune as we say, the Port of the Moon. There are many many possibilities to discover the city from the water uh, so by with a daily cruise or and dinner cruise and even there's a possibility to have a cruise of a week um, in Bordeaux and around its vineyards. We're finished our bridge to bridge open air tour of Bordeaux. I hope you've all enjoyed the green and eco-friendly city of Bordeaux and we are all hoping to welcome you soon in this beautiful city. Au revoir everyone. Oh, hi! Hey! So, we are finally back without any umbrella. And you see, I am at the beautiful Gabrielle, which is a one Michelin star restaurant, but you do also have like a bistro style, and they're very, very good at cocktails. Uh, Gabrielle, in fact, was the architect of Place de la Bourse that you have just behind me. And today, the Gabrielle is owned by the very famous Chateau L'Angelus. And I'm sure you know this chateau, you've seen it already because it's the wine of James Bond. Look, this is our marvelous Place de la Bourse. And here, it's where, you know, I have been uh, taking, in fact, the beautiful old classic French car, uh, the DS, for the first tour you are doing. So you've seen walking tour, biking tour, everything is possible in Bordeaux. Five minutes ago, it was pouring rain. And now look at the sky, it's totally blue. So Bordeaux is offering you a lot of diversities, a lot of different architecture. And we were talking about moving around Bordeaux, but here you also have our tramway. Huh? You've seen it, but now this is live. And look, we have a few tourists over there. They are taking pictures just in front of this beautiful fountain. Well, our city is absolutely marvelous. And I'm not saying that because I am made in Bordeaux. I say that because, well, as you can see, is the reality. We have our Moon Harbor, obviously, just over there. And if you're taking the tramway on the other direction, you're going to reach the Bassin des Lumières. Bassin des Lumières is absolutely unique. It's absolutely stunning. If you like modern art, but also classical art, if you like something new, like, uh, you know, technology and everything, this place is for you. And this is like the topic of our next video. This is the wonderful Bassin des Lumières. So Tiana, let's show to our guests the beautiful Bassin des Lumières, which is, well, in this direction over there. So hi, Pauline. Hello, Chloé. How are you? Very fine with the sunny weather. Yes, it's so beautiful here. We are in a very dynamic neighborhood of Bordeaux, yes. mm. uh, which is located in the north of yes. Bordeaux. But yes. I mean, we are very close very to, the, yeah. to the city center. Yes. And we have this beautiful uh, water area, harbor with uh, some uh, boats. And mm -hmm. we have this incredible building behind me. And you are the girl that knows everything, the woman that knows everything about this place. So please tell me everything. So, um, it's a 
big, huge building uh, built during the Second World War by the Germans. So mm -hmm. it's the old submarine base. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was very uh, an attractive place because the um, strategic place because near to the Atlantic Ocean. Yes. And um, after the war, so during 20, 30 years, it was mm -hmm. abandoned. Okay. And after during the 80s, um, there is some uh, different cultural events. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a second time abandoned. And two years ago, we have uh, reopened with Les Bassins de Lumière. Oh, les Bassins de Lumière. Okay, so... What is exactly the Bassin des Lumières? So it's a um, unique experience because it's an immersive exhibition around uh, historic art uh, artists. Mm -hmm. uh, for the moment, we have uh, Monet, Renoir, Chagall, the impre impressionist. Wow! <laughs> And uh, but uh, we have uh, different uh, different sites around the world. So mm -hmm. three in France and. Uh, more and more uh, in different countries. Okay, yes. and what is the name the, of the company that owns the Bassin It's des Lumières? It's Espace. Culture okay. Espace, yes, is the, the company uh, we own. Yes. Uh -huh. And, uh, well, as uh, I'm sure uh, people can see on, on the camera, the, the building looks like really uh, how it was, in fact, during the Second World War. Yes, we can't um, yeah, change transform, the, uh, yes, transform because it's so huge, it's so wow. <laughs> yes. so, but, uh, but we have made lots of uh, renovation to mm -hmm. for for the technologic uh, yes yes uh, yeah for the exhibition uh, to welcome the guests yes we have make um, a ticketing area mm -hmm. so yes so it's extraordinary outside but mm -hmm. inside it's also amazing and yes. i and i want i want to see it so can okay. you show uh, show us with pleasure let's go <laughs> so let's go okay <laughs> So maybe just before to discover the uh, exhibition, we have here a very interesting uh, map of like the submarine yes. base. Yes. So can you explain a little bit what we have on this map? Sure. You have to understand that it's um, it's a free visit. There is no guide. It's uh, really uh, um, more an emotional visit than yes. a pedagogic one. It's really an so, experience, so you can stroll around. Yes, and, uh, you, you. It's an immersive. So so you enter into the the, the painting, and uh, there is the music, and uh, mm. you are really in. Yeah. It's really in immersion. Your, your, like, your, uh, yes, your own experience. Okay. So um, you have to know there is the, the submarine base have eleven uh, bassins. bassins. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we we have uh, we explore four buttons but four it's pounds. uh yes four pounds and it's twelve thousand square meters so okay. it's a huge area it's huge <laughs> yes very huge and so this is the entrance and uh, you have to follow um, the, the, um, the pass but the, uh, yes the visiting pass but uh, you can have a stop uh, you can uh, go back uh, you can yes, uh, yes. there is no really yes. like uh, right it's like way a, in french we say uh, a ballad uh, and okay uh, yes yeah. it's really a stroll it's, it's really the translation <laughs> yes yes totally we can see so on the map the four ponds but yes. we have gradin the cube the and la citerne yes so it's just a different uh, point of view mm -hmm. on the interest point uh, to to agreement uh, the, the visit. visit yes so you can have a seat on the gradin and uh, the cube it's totally different just you have a look on this ah, wow. it's, uh, it's it's not the same like uh, the uh, the main exhibition it's mm -hmm. more um, modern and after the citern it just um, the same exhibition but more immersive so in fact we can we can enter basically in le cube yes. and la citerne yes you can and, and uh, the last thing you have um, um, an history. area with the history of the base because uh, yes it's, it's a part of the success of the exhibition yes, yes and it's important it's part of our history so yes totally it's so cool to mix in fact uh, modernity and uh, totally. well the uh, our history very yes. cool totally. <laughs> So let's go inside. Allez. So uh, we are now inside the exhibition. Uh, we are, in fact, on the top of the Gradin. So uh, I think you will see a uh, few uh, images, but you can sit and enjoy, and you have uh, the yes, pond the uh, best behind. View. The best view. Yes, yes, so you can really sit and chill and enjoy the exhibition. It's, uh, it. yes. it's amazing. And so uh, if I want to come here, uh, how long should I stay inside the exhibition? 
Mm, normally around one hour, one hour and a half. Okay. Yes, of visiting. It's, uh, yes, okay. it's good. Yes. So mm. right now is the impressionist. Yes, it's the impressionist. So the um, the story is uh, how the impressionist uh, travel away to Paris to discover the Mediterranean, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, all about the colors and the landscape of Mediterranean. Yes. So beautiful uh, colors, and uh, you are totally travel with them. Yes. Mm. And uh, what I really like is the pond, because obviously we are playing with the water that yes. you still have in the pond, which is like absolutely amazing. So you have like a reflection of like the painting. Yes, yes. It's uh, it's one of the best thing of this site. It's the, it the, the game with the, the, the reflection in yes. the water. Yes. And really everything is moving. So it's not like you are watching, in fact, the painting. It's really no. you are going inside of yes, the painting. Yes, you travel, you have a walk uh, in, inside the painting. Yes, and mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's why it's, it's a really <laughs> unique and, uh, and totally original. Yes. Yeah, this is an experience you should try, really. And uh, the, place, the best place to come is Bordeaux. <laughs> yeah, sure. totally emerge right now we are full of colors i hope uh, that uh, you enjoy it i have a question like uh, if a family wants to come is it possible for them to bring their kids yes yes totally because it's for all the family so the kids love coming because uh, th they love playing with the, the, the colors and the pictures and uh, you can also be an art lover or not and uh, it's really a, a personal and emotional experience so mm -hmm. everybody see what they want to see so yes. Uh, yes so you don't have to be necessarily knowledgeable about like uh, the artists not you can just come and enjoy and learn about yes. them totally yes totally and uh, also maybe your last question i see that everything is like plain you have bunches so i guess uh people that are disabled or have difficulties yes. to yes. walk can, they can all come the authorization and uh, all the thing and uh, to to welcome the the guests so uh, everybody's welcome yes of course come <laughs> like you are <laughs> pauline the exhibition was amazing like we said in the intro it's thank it's, you it's a must see in, yes. in bordeaux and thank so you. now we are like in the boutique mm -hmm. uh so people like can uh, look around and there are a lot of uh, things books stunning oh yes. uh yeah there are so many things uh i think i will do yes. some shopping after <laughs> uh and uh if i want to uh come to bassin de lumière mm -hmm. what should i do how can i book so um, the first thing we have to know that we are open uh, all days, so okay. seven days per seven. seven yes, <laughs> seven days per come. seven. <laughs> yes, just the exception is uh, in January and sometimes in February we are closed to make the new exhibition mm -hmm. because we have one exhibition per year. Okay. Yes. So during ten months. Okay. So the exhibition right now, can you tell us again what it is? And can you can we have like a sneak peek maybe of like the next one? Yes, sure. <laughs> so uh, for the moment we have uh, about the impressionist so Monet Renoir Chagall mm -hmm. and uh, around uh, 20 artists wow. for impressionism, pointillism, fauvism and uh, next year um, so from uh, mid-February uh, we have around Venise and uh, the masters of Venice so it would be very incredible and uh, 
very historic, very magical, and uh, yes, yes, and, and with, with, with the, the water, water <laughs> yes, the reflect, uh, really. Uh, okay, it would be and, like, uh, yeah, yes, perfect. It's a it's a travel, yes. Mm. So and about like uh, the tickets, can we can I come like uh, straight to Bassin des Lumières, yeah. or can I book <clears throat> online or? So yes, uh, the, the the best thing to do is to book online on our website, so bassandelumière.com, and uh, you can have also some information with the tourism um, office uh, yes, in Bordeaux, Bordeaux. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, you can also uh, book uh, your ticket uh, yeah, from on here site. And, uh, yes, yes, and it's okay. very uh, easy to come. Also, yes, uh, you have uh, so we have a big parking, so you can come uh, by car, but uh, there is also some uh, city bus mm -hmm. and. Uh, or by bike okay mm, yes. and there is also a shuttle i know from the tourism office yes of Bordeaux. only only from um, june to september okay for summer yes but summer. it's uh, it's also yes, a it's, a, it's an option uh, yes okay. also. very nice yeah. well now i think it's time for shopping <laughs> so, okay let's bye go. bye and bye. Uh, see you soon to basson des lumières yes <laughs> thank, thank you. you thank you ah. Look at her. You see? Hey, bye bike. So easy, bye bike. <laughs> I leave it here. Careful. So, so how was? How this, long did uh, it take you the incredible to museum? Oh, that was wonderful. We, Sorry, we, Tana? Was, it was wonderful. The bassin de lumière, and you know the the impressionist art. It, it was so, I don't know, for me, it was just looking at it was really, um, how can I say? Yes, uh, huh? yes. It's an experience. It's an experience. You really want to uh, to do it. And it's what is beautiful in Bordeaux because uh, you can have a stroll in the city, really a urban area, but you have on the harbor side something which is more green. You have hearts, you have wine, you have food. It's absolutely beautiful. And for other type of uh, heart lover, obviously behind me, you have the beautiful uh, Grand Théâtre, the Opera House of Bordeaux. Uh, it has been built uh, by Victor Louis in 1780. Uh, and uh, it's uh, really <laughs> something stunning. Yes, it's crowded here because this is the heart of Bordeaux. And you see everything is pedestrian. So it's why you have so many people. And it's vacation right now also in Bordeaux. You have also the a uh, magnificent uh, Intercontinental Hotel uh, here. And uh, this is where we were showing you in the first video, uh, the uh, beautiful, uh, our Champs-Élysées, the Cour de l'Intendance. Then uh, on the other side, you have the uh, beautiful Grand Théâtre. Huh? Uh, and I propose to you to maybe uh, go a little bit uh, closer of it, huh? because this is really the symbol of the 18th neoclassic style architecture. Victor Louis, uh, really, he, he did everything to build uh, this incredible monument. And inside you have a marvelous also staircase. And Garnier, the architect of the Opera Garnier, decided well to build, uh, in fact, the same in the, uh, in the opera. And uh, look at this. This is stunning. You have the columns, you have the nymph and uh, three goddesses also on the top. So, uh, you know, in the flair of the Greek and the Roman time, this is uh, really what is extraordinary about this neoclassic uh, style. And here you have uh, only opera and ballet, lyrical, you know, uh, concerts. So we call it Grand Théâtre, like a theater, but in fact, it's not, uh, it's not really uh, a theater. So please, let's uh, go inside. It's totally live. So I'm taking my mask. And we can go inside, yes. And now we have the sun. Follow me. Excusez-moi. Pardon. You see, a lot of people want to discover uh, the opera house. 
<laughs> you can you can enjoy in fact the uh, the architecture on the top everything. You can maybe Clément go a little bit, you know, further inside to uh, show a little bit the, the architecture and everything. But we don't want to show you everything because otherwise you won't come in Bordeaux. Huh? We want you to join us. What do you think? Yeah, stay please in the comments. Would you like to enjoy a beautiful opera or ballet uh, inside of it? Yes, we do. <laughs> Love it. Yes, come, follow me. I want to show you the staircase because this is like one of the most beautiful uh, really thing of the Grand Théâtre of Bordeaux. With the coupole. Wonderful, right? So imagine having a little moment here, like Nutcracker or having like a Mozart, Beethoven in this wall from a really 18th century, 1780. It's really like a stunning area. This is a must see also. Huh? You see, we, we want to show you something like very modern, but you also have in Bordeaux the tradition. We are between modernity and tradition, and it's what is absolutely marvelous, beautiful of Bordeaux. So I really hope you enjoy uh, this live of Bordeaux and uh, that we are going to have a lot of comments uh i think we have shown you different uh, you know assets different uh, uh images in fact of bordeaux and that's now you just want to come and we are ready we're ready we're waiting for you all so thank you very much tiana for uh, this opportunity of doing the live uh we are waiting for your comments obviously you see, we will uh, read them and we will try to answer to uh, to them. We will try to uh, communicate and uh, we'll take care and see you soon in Bordeaux. Au revoir. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, um, Chloe. Uh, just before you leave, I just have a couple of questions a little bit. Can you? So, yes. Sandy, Sandy is coming to. Sandy is coming to Bordeaux in June and she had a question about where to mm -hmm. stay. So obviously we recommended Intercontinental Bordeaux right across from you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You have a lot of different uh, hotels for different budgets, obviously, uh, in inside uh, like the hypercenter of Bordeaux. Remember also that we have the tramway, so if you can choose a hotel maybe close to uh, a line of the tramway, you will be able to move around. But yes, the Intercontinental Hotel is uh, one of the most beautiful hotels and the location really is perfect. But we do have also boutique hotel, uh, bed and breakfast, uh, guest houses, and uh, uh, other like uh, hotels in Bordeaux really to enjoy uh, the city. So I'm sure on uh, the Tourism Office Board of uh, Bordeaux, you also have a list of different hotels. And feel free also to contact us. We'll be really uh, pleased to help you. Yes. So um, the I think we pin the contact of uh, the Bordeaux Tourism uh, in the comments if you would like to reach uh, the team there. And uh, so yeah, uh, I think uh, we we had another question about. Um, I think earlier about the, the cocktail that was showing uh, on the bike tour. Uh, do do you remember? Yes. What, yeah. Uh, the cocktail during the bike tour. So I have not been doing the bike tour, so I don't remember the recipe, but I'm sure we will be able to find it and to leave it in the comments. Uh, okay. Because we have yes. so many cocktails. <laughs> 
we'll be able yes to uh, to give you the recipe don't worry <laughs> yeah and uh one last question about the cooking classes i'm sure there are many available uh, it's a question from carol uh, are there any cooking yes. classes in bordeaux yes for sure we have a lot of uh, cooking classes carol Uh, you can do like a uh, salty cooking classes but also sweet cooking classes like to learn how to make our cannelli or our uh, macaron uh, so in the area of bordeaux obviously but also outside bordeaux you can do like a cooking class in a chateau for instance can you can you imagine you are doing like the starter the main course and the dessert uh, pairing in fact with the wine and after you eat it for lunch right this is wonderful So yes, we have a lot of uh, cooking classes in Bordeaux uh, for every taste. If you're like gluten-free or if you don't eat meat like vegan, uh, we have a lot of chefs that can adapt. We reach, in fact, the market. You can also choose your own like uh, a fresh product, local, seasonal. So yes, Carol, you can come to Bordeaux and have a wonderful tasting, uh, cooking and tasting uh, class experience. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Clément, uh, Chloé, Isabelle, Camille, uh, the team at Bordeaux, I want to thank you so much for your work and your time uh, in putting this wonderful tour. Uh, you will look at the comments. Everybody is just so... Uh, I'm bringing the team. I'm bringing the team. They're in the shadow. But now it's time. Uh, yes. This is Isabelle, and this is Camille, and Clément is behind. Uh, <laughs> you can see, uh, you can see him. This is our videographer. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Tiana, for your trust and uh, for giving us the opportunity to show our wonderful city. Thank you for the wonderful Bye. job. So everyone, the team will be will be answering uh, some of your comments to give you more links and more ideas on your next tour. Don't hesitate if you have more questions to put them in the comments. They will be in touch. Merci beaucoup. Thank you and see you next week at La Samaritaine, Merci. everyone. Thank you, everybody. Au revoir. Bye. Merci. Au revoir. Bye. Bye.